What's going on, YouTube? Back with another cigar review. This time it's an Arturo Fuente Gran Reserva Maduro wrapper. Uh, I've had the original or the regular wrapper, whatever you want to call it, and this is the Maduro wrapper, which I have not tried. Sort of has a little bit of a kind of a spicy barnyard kind of smell. A little bit of a spice, a little bit of a barnyard smell. And by the way, it's raining if you can't hear it. I'm sure you can probably hear the rain. Um, we got a little bit of an overhang on the porch, back porch here. So I'm kind of, my camera is not getting wet and I'm staying mostly dry. My right arm and leg are getting a little bit wet, but anyway. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut um, actually both ends because you probably can't see, but the, this is the foot end, the bottom end, or the end of the light. And it's got a, it's kind of wrapped up, you can see. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and cut the um, cap off the top here. has a little pointy, sort of a, almost a pigtail on the top. Cut there. Go ahead and roast it up. Off the first draw, already got a little bit of a sweetness. I can already smell the uh, Maduro, like the dark sort of a smell, you know. It doesn't have a strong spice taste to it. Um, it does have a, a dark, dark taste. Uh, it's a pretty short finish too. Um, flavor kind of dissipates quickly. I'm having trouble describing it. It's, it's just kind of a just a dark tobacco cigar kind of a flavor. Um, Maybe a little bit of a dark roast, dark coffee roast maybe, but just barely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get farther into this and I'll come back with a second part of the review. Alright guys, I'm back with the second part of the review. I'm probably about a third of the way into it and uh, the ash just fell off a minute ago. So I was going to show you how long the ash was. but it just fell off, so uh, it was probably maybe an inch, a little over an inch long, the ash was, and uh, we got some crazy birds that 
I like to make a lot of noise at night. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway. Um, before the ash fell off, it was kind of progressing a little bit to different different things. Um, it started with the, the dark roast sort of flavors a little bit. You know, just a, kind of overall just dark tobacco flavor. And um, probably a few minutes before the ash fell off, it was... I guess the finish was getting a little bit longer, and um, it sort of turned a little bit creamy at the end of the finish. Like at the end of the draw, it was kind of, you know, the dark, dark flavors, um, a little bit of dark roast, but then it sort of turned to a creamy, almost a, a little bit of a creamy um, taste or feel in, in the mouth. And, um, It's, it's maintaining the, the dark flavors. It's not really very creamy anymore. It's getting more of... Um, the, I guess the finish almost has a, a little bit of a chemical, almost. Sort of a dry, papery sort of a taste, if that makes sense. Um, but it's, it's not, like, really bad. It's just different something different, you know. I want to forget to mention I'm pairing it with a um, strawberry white Zinfandel. Which goes nice with it. Adds, oh, adds a little bit of zing. Staying pretty consistent with what I just described to you, so um, I will get back with you when I'm farther down. All right, we're a good way, a good ways into the second third of the cigar. Hopefully, you can see that there. See that ash and everything. I'll go ahead and tap the ash off there. It's getting a little bit. It was starting to get a little bit crooked. Didn't want it to fall off on me. The last time it fell off <laughs> unexpectedly. Alright, so the flavors have been pretty consistent with what I last described to you. Um, except for just now, right before I turn the camera on, it's sort of a, turning a little bit to a sort of a dark, dry wood flavor. I forgot to mention earlier, um, the, the draw is kind of a, a little bit tighter than average, I guess, it, but no problems really. Uh, the burn has been pretty good. It started off almost razor sharp. Then there was a couple inconsistencies where it kind of got a little bit wonky. But it, it's corrected itself very well. I haven't had to touch up or relight or anything like that. So, no complaints there. <clears throat> Just got a little bit in the back of my nose there. That was kind of unpleasant. But yeah, it's just kind of gone to a, it's still got the primary, you know, primary uh, dark, sort of a 
tobacco, dark roast flavor, I guess. But it's sort of got a little bit of dark, dry woodiness to it as well. I'm going to go ahead and take this band off here. It's getting pretty close. Not able to slide it off, I have to peel it off. There we go, took the band off there. You can see a tiny little bit of glue right there, but I'm not really worried about it. Alright, well, I'll get well into the last third and uh, get back with you one more time. Alright, YouTube, back for the final update. Ash is getting a little long there and starting to get a little bit crooked, so I'm going to go ahead and lose the ash. Alright, so as you can see, I'm almost done here. So the finish has kind of stayed longer than it originally was. Like I said at the beginning of the cigar, the finish was quite short. It's gotten longer. The flavor kind of, flavors kind of last longer now after after the draw. Um, it's kind of gone back to that a little bit chemical, sort of a dry, papery sort of a taste. But um, it's gotten a little bit bitter along with that. It's not awful, but it's just a little bit bitter. I don't know. And it seems there's just a, a very faint a little bit of a spice just at the top of the throat a little bit yeah it's getting a little bit better um, but you know it wasn't bitter for most of the cigar so I wouldn't <clears throat> I'm not going to complain too much overall decent little cigar um, I wouldn't buy a whole box of them or anything, but I mean, it's a decent little cigar. <coughs> but, uh, not a whole lot of strength or anything really. Maybe just, maybe just a tiny little bit of strength. Just enough to barely notice. Just enough to kind of relax you a little bit. Sorry, a little piece of loose tobacco there. But uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it for my review of the Arturo Fuente um, Maduro wrapper or Arturo Fuente Gran Reserva Maduro wrapper. Um, on my Drum Piper 11 scale, I guess I would give it a um, six out of ten drums. Six out of ten drums, yeah. So uh, I think I saw some lightning. It stopped raining, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Yep, yeah, that's it. Um, go ahead and put this thing up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Keep on piping. Keep on sticking. <laughs>